Do you know how to solve quadratic equations like this one? In order to solve this quadratic equation, we want to figure out what the value of x is. To do that, we are going to use a square root. Let's look at how to do that. Think back to solving linear equations. When you solve the linear equation for x, we got rid of everything that we possibly could and worked to get the x alone. You're going to do the same thing as you solve quadratic equations. So this minus 16 is the first thing that we're going to get rid of. So we're going to use the inverse operation and add 16 to both sides. Now we have 16 equals 4x squared. Our next step is to get x alone even more. So we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 is equal to x squared. Now we want to get rid of the square. The opposite of squaring is to take the square root. So let's take the square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we can cancel the square root and the square, leaving x alone. And the square root of 4 is positive or negative 2. This is the solution to our quadratic equation. Let's look at another one. 0 equals 5x squared minus 45. Again, we want to get x alone. So we're going to add 45 to both sides of this equation. And we end up with 45 equals 5x squared. To get x alone, we're going to divide both sides by 5. That takes us one step closer. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 equals x squared. We take the square root of both sides. This cancels, leaving us with x is equal to a positive or a negative 3. This is the solution to our quadratic equation. What about this equation? When you see this square outside, you can know automatically that you can use a square root to cancel that square. And in this equation, we need to do that before we do anything else. So let's take the square root of both sides of this equation. The square root and the square cancel each other, leaving us with x minus 6 equals the square root of 9, which could be a positive 3 or a negative 3. Now, because we have a positive 3 or a negative 3, we can write two different equations x minus 6 equals 3 and x minus 6 equals negative 3. We are going to have two solutions that will work in this equation. Let's solve for this f equation first. We add 6 to both sides and x is equal to 9. Or on this side, we add 6 to both sides, and x is equal to positive 3. So our answer is that x can be equal to 9, or x can be equal to positive 3. In equations like this one, you take the square root first, and then you solve for the solution.